I have already uploaded the template for you. Before you open it, go ahead and take a look up here, and I'll walk you through the slides to make sure we're all on the same page. Up, you'll start with your heading. Replace your name. Your name is not name. Okay. Your name is not name. In the second slide, what is the water cycle? Here's where you put the overview. This is like your main idea slide where you say, okay, here's what the water cycle is. Alejandra? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Oh. All right. Each of these is a subtitle. So just like when we went into our articles last week and we added headings, each of the slides that has a black bar across the bottom is like a heading. It's telling the main idea of the next section. Headings tell you ahead of time the main idea. So after each of them, you'll go in and put in the information. I have given you a sentence stem on each slide to get you started so that you understand the information that I'm looking for here. Some of the slides you may or may not choose to include images to help your readers, the people you're presenting to, understand. Just like before. It's a rock fact. Yes, I did the attendance. Just like before, you're going to go to pictures, but if you go here, I have created a folder for you. It's going to be your job to look through. As always, everything's in student share. You go to water cycle, and then let's uh, make it tiles or content. Yeah, I like tiles better. It's a rock fact. Uh, there we go. All right, and you'll go through the pictures and pick the picture, pick the image that matches your content, that represents what stage in this water cycle it is. Get it? Right. Where is this housed? Which folder is this? Student share. Everything's always in student share. So as you come to the end, you'll see we've got the sun. Evaporation, explain it. Condensation, explain it. Can you put a picture here? No. Your I'm choice. Your choice. Where do you think it makes sense? Would you rather put the picture here? Your choice. Then we come down to the end, and I have some deeper thinking, some, some connections I want you to make. First of all, I want you to explain to me about saltiness. Why is it that the oceans are salty and rivers and mountains and lakes are not? Hmm? And then here, I want you to talk about groundwater because not all of the water cycle happens above ground. Some of it happens below ground. Talk to me about that here. And then finally, I want you to spiral back to everything that we learned about climate. Because climate affects, that means it changes, climate affects the water cycle. So I want you to tell me, in tropical climates, what do you think the water cycle is like? If you're in a polar climate, how is the water cycle going to look different based on the climate? Those are your big thinking questions, so take your time when you're answering these sentence stems. Get it? Right. Now, let's cycle back to the very first step, which is you opening this template and saving as your name. From this binder. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says water cycle. Go to student share. Like everything else, it's all in the student share drive. So go to open, browse. Open, browse, other documents. Uh-huh. Open other presentation. Browse.
My picture won't fit in my paragraph. I think we still need to do this when this slide it's missing some information, right? You can say 50% on Gago. Today I shall be showing you my presentation about weather and climate. Always have to put them in there. Similar but not the same. Weather. Weather is the condition of the air at a single time. So I am like saying, so since it's talking about weather, why not a you know storm team or something? Okay, climate. The climate is the usual weather of a place. And notice I underline these uh, these words because they are very important to, in the sentence. Weather is, is at a single time. So like it, it only happens like like once or twice. Something like that. But climate is like it happens for a while. Now no job for the climate man. Every day we turn on the T V to watch the weatherman because the weatherman weather always changes. There is no such thing as a climate man because all he would say here in Texas would be today. The climate is subtropical. He will always say subtropical because it, I meant to put uh, climate is so slow, which it is, it's very slow. This is the climate zones. So you, this was supposed to be subtropical, dry, moderate, content, continental, and polar. All these, this, the colors match with the, with the, uh, what, how, what they, where they are on this globe. <coughs> Fennec Fox. There's a climate, hot and little water. And as you can see, there's a little cute picture. Huge ears to cool blood, which that's uh, pretty amazing. Hairy, thick, padded feet, and kidney safe water. Well, um, that's pretty interesting. I never knew Andy could do that. <coughs> Let's get that here. Polar climate, super cold. And yeah, please bring a sweater. 
Thank you for... 